Welcome back everyone, this is GTA Walker and this is the first in a series of walking tour videos where I explore just about every nook and cranny in the Vice City map. As I walk around, I'll read info from the wiki about the different businesses that exist in the Vice City universe. I'm using a late game save file where I've already passed all of the story missions in the game, but I haven't collected any packages or done any rampages in this save file. If, in any of these walking tour videos, I miss something that you think is interesting, please do share in the comments. Let's go ahead and take a look at the map just to get ourselves oriented here. So, we've got two large islands in Vice City. Uh, this one on the east side is called Vice City Beach, and then the other large island to the west is called Vice City Mainland. So, uh, Vice City Beach, this large island to the east, is broken up into four, I'm going to call them neighborhoods. So, to the far north, we have Vice Point, and then south of that, we have Washington Beach, and then the far south is where we are right now, Ocean Beach. And then connected off here to the west is Leaf Links. So, each of these neighborhoods will get their own videos, maybe multi-part videos, depending on how long they go. And then here in the water, between the two main islands, we've got two other uh, islands that we'll talk about. Uh, so up here to the north is Prawn Island, and then here kind of in the middle-ish is Starfish Island. And eventually we will do our walking tours over here on the Western Island, which again is called Vice City Mainland. Going generally from north to south, we find the neighborhood of Downtown, followed by Little Haiti, and then Little Havana, and then to the far south is Vice Port. And then off here to the west, we have two more neighborhoods. There's Fort Baxter Air Base, and then finally the massive Escobar International Airport. So that's a collection of all of the neighborhoods. Let's go ahead and take a look at the wiki here as we read a tiny bit about uh, our starting location, which is Ocean Beach. Okay, so reading from, Ocean, uh, reading from the wiki, Ocean Beach is a shopping district in Vice City, Florida in uh, Vice City and uh, Vice City Stories. It is based on its real-world counterpart, South Beach, which is located in Miami Beach, Florida. There are a few residents of note who live here in Ocean Beach. Juan Cortez, who's going to be one of our bosses in the early game, Lance Vance, uh, Leo Teal, uh, I think he's related to the uh, the chef, like he's the one that knows the chef that we're going to kill, uh, Mercedes Cortez, the daughter of Juan Cortez. Uh, Tommy Versetti lives there over at that hotel, the Ocean Beach Hotel. And then uh, Victor Vance uh, lived here during the Vice City Stories. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead and see if we can get a sense of the uh, border here, because basically we're at one of the northern points of um, Ocean Beach. If we walk just a tiny bit north of where I was standing, look at the bottom right-hand corner there, Washington Beach. And if I walk back south, we land back in Ocean Beach, which is the subject of this walking tour video. So the border between Ocean Beach to my north, uh, sorry, Ocean Beach to my south, and uh, Washington Beach to my north is basically an east-west line. So I'm looking straight west here and uh, straight east here. And basically, if you imagine that line, everything to the south of that line is Ocean Beach. Uh, but it isn't a clean east-west line. It's not perfectly straight. Uh, so we're going to we're going to play with the border a little bit here as I make my distinction between Ocean Beach and Washington Beach in these walking tour videos. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look over here. And you can see I tried to walk basically straight west, but I crossed over from Ocean Beach into Washington Beach. And so if we move a little bit south, we land back in familiar Ocean Beach. So just to make things clean, I am going to call this street right here. Uh, the northern border of Ocean Beach, even though Ocean Beach technically goes, you know, I don't know, 50, 100 feet north of me here. So let's go ahead and run in double speed. So I'm uh, typing in the on speed uh, cheat code. And you're actually going to see that uh, we're going to enter Washington Beach, even as we try running a little bit uh, west here. Again, it's not a perfect east west border. But uh, this corkscrew is part of Ocean Beach. But then we find ourselves back in Washington Beach here. We'll go into the middle of this mall. And we'll see that part of the mall is in Ocean Beach. This must be a zoning nightmare for the city planners to have this mall be in two different neighborhoods. I'm going to call the entire mall part of Ocean Beach just uh, to keep things clean and simple. So Ocean Beach, uh, basically, you know, like this road right here and just head straight. Whoops. This road uh, right over here, just head straight. Um, uh, East-West, essentially going in uh, kind of that, that direction. Okay, and uh, if we head too far up this way, again, Washington Beach. So to start our tour proper, I've just decided to relocate over here by the lighthouse. Seems as good a starting place as any. We'll just take a quick spin around. There's two piers here. 
a bunch of these, uh, I don't know what they're called, not buoys, but uh, these things here that uh, have the flashing red lights on them. Uh, and we got uh, oh, a boat randomly spawning. That's cool. A lot of people walking out over here on the piers, including a jogger. Keep up the good work, ma'am. Some garbage here. Oh, my goodness. A lot of garbage. Um, yeah, so uh, what's interesting to me is that um, the three of these four sides of the pier do not have this protective, um, you know, kind of wall pre preventing you from walking off into the uh, ocean. And so let's see. Will they run off or will they stop? Nope. See it? Yeah. So it seems like a safety hazard. But anyway, it is what it is. All right. So let's uh, head on over here towards the lighthouse. We'll first uh, hop up here just because it's pretty darn tall and scary down there. My goodness. All right. Beautiful view of the lighthouse there. I hope you have your cameras ready. Feel free to take a snapshot whenever you see something interesting. And let's go ahead and head up to the lighthouse. So you can see here, again, no railing here on these stairs. What gives? All right, so package one of 100. Oh, there's the railing. What gives is my poor <laughs> computer processing power. Holy man, that is one thin railing. All right, uh, so in Vice City Stories, this uh, lighthouse exists, but you can't go into it. Uh, but uh, in Vice City, it can, out of order. I don't think so. All right, so let's uh, let's head on up. we got some lights up here. And we'll just keep heading on up. Reminds me of that uh, San Andreas mission where you got to get the green goo. All right, so we've got a, uh, a view outside. Let's see, we've got a sniper rifle, I think. Okay. Oh, right. When you change to the, the sniper rifle, you get this kind of special animation now. So like now I can't get back in first person. Crouch. Yeah. So like uh, I read in the wiki about this special uh, camera angle that exists in um, inside the lighthouse. And so it activated because I uh, turned on the, uh, because I, I pulled out my sniper. Okay. So, uh, all right. So now we're outside. I didn't even know this existed up here. That's pretty cool. What if I just put the sniper away? Can I get a regular look? No. Yeah. So special camera. I'm just holding left on the keypad and uh, it runs me around in a circle, which is pretty neat. So unfortunately we can't climb uh, up there, but uh, can I look up there? Yeah, not so much to look at. Okay, pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So if I jump off, do we change? Can I jump off? Doesn't look like it. All right, let's head on back down. And again, you can see the uh, kind of special camera. So now I'm running and just holding to the right. And we'll make our way all the way down. I'm getting kind of seasick looking at this animation. And let's see the camera change back. There it goes. Okay, cool. All right, I'm going to head right back in there without taking out that uh, sniper weapon just to see if it looks any different. Okay, so here I'm at that first uh, lookout point, and I actually can jump out here, and now it looks quite a bit different. A little bit scary for Tommy, but beautiful views. Look at this. Goodness gracious. All right, let's head to the top. Okay, and now we're outside, and I can actually rotate my camera around, and I can look up, and I can look to the side. Lovely views, a nice cool breeze blowing up here in this hot Vice City day. Beautiful, beautiful. Can I jump the fence now? No, I think I'm actually hitting my head on something up here. Maybe I can jump here. No, I'm not sure. One last try. Okay, I will head right back down. I just realized the San Andreas mission I quoted was not the right one. Green Goo was one involving a train. Uh, now, the one I'm thinking of is where you have to go get the... Uh, jetpack uh, and then you go uh, you have to go down like a, a winding set of stairs kind of like the lighthouse here okay reading from the wiki uh, the lighthouse the vice city lighthouse that's the official name is a lighthouse that appears in vice city and vice city stories and uh, it's accessible in vice city with a spiral staircase leading to the balcony below the lantern room uh, it is inaccessible in vice city stories uh, it plays no role in either storyline it is based on the cape florida lighthouse located on the south end of key biscayne in miami dade county florida Cool. Okay, let's keep on trucking here. Um, yeah, so I don't think I'm going to spend a whole heck of a lot of time here on the beach because there's not a lot to look at. Let's uh, put on my double speed cheat code. There's a rampage somewhere over here. Yeah, this is one where you get into a car and run over a bunch of gang members. And we'll head over this way. Uh, and uh, someplace back here is a, a caddy. It must be inside of this bush right here. There you go. Very hard to see. A uh, wanted star? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm just doing a, a walking tour, officer. Leave me alone. All right, so a strange place for a hidden caddy, but anyway, it's there. Um, and then, uh, yeah, a little bit of an inlet here. 
but uh, probably uh, more dangerous than it looks. I think you could drown pretty easily here if you were Tommy. We'll head over the bridge. Okay, let's go, let's go. Okay, and uh, this path goes all the way to the water. I don't know, is this for putting boats in? Like you got this little, maybe that's a boat ramp. That'd be pretty cool. You back up your, uh, you know, pickup truck or whatever with the boat trailer attached. Oh, goodness, almost the first death in the walking tour series. All right, so we keep on trucking this way. Very steep cliffs off here to, oh gosh, off to my left. All right, good enough. Uh, this is a uh, Molotov cocktail. Wait, is it a flamethrower rampage? No, I think it's a Molotov cocktail rampage. Oh, uh, well, goodness. Okay, and uh, yeah, I think that's about it uh, in terms of the beach. Um, all right, so let's uh, let's begin our walking tour uh, right here on this road, which I think is called Ocean Beach Road. Let's put us back to regular speed here. That's the word boring with six O's. Okay, I misspoke. The name of this street is actually called Ocean Drive, and according to the wiki, it is analogous to the real-life Ocean Drive in South Beach, Miami, being a street running between a grassy partition, a walkway, and uh, then sort of the vast uh, South, South Beach area in Miami. Okay, so let us begin walking around here. Uh, I guess we'll start with, uh, with this building here. It looks like an apartment building, although what does it say there? Mason Wenefall. Mason Wenefall. Okay, from the wiki, let's back up and give us a little bit of a better view of the Maison Wenefall. I think Maison is like the French word for mansion. Okay, uh, from the wiki, Maison Wenefall is a non-interactive hotel in Ocean Beach in 1986. The building is distinctive by its tiered wedding cake design, as well as its location on the southernmost tip of Ocean Drive. Fair enough. Um, it is uh, also in Vice City Stories. We're really not going to talk about the Vice City Stories appearances, but anyway... Uh, doesn't look like we can enter there, but uh, cool. Mason Wenefall. All right, uh, moving on. We got like a little, I don't know, like a nothing between these two uh, gates here. And then the next building looks like it's called, what's happening here with this uh, this storefront? It's got like, like I can see the outside. Where's the, uh, like there's a wall right here in front of me. Um, but then if I look through the window, I can see, I can see through this uh, glass wall to Oh, is that a, yeah, looks like I'm seeing through to the building across the next street. I don't know, Rockstar. I hope they fix this in the definitive edition. Okay, nice looking building here. It's called the Alberta. From the wiki, the Alberta Hotel is a hotel of approximately four floors, painted cream slash orange, and at night lights will illuminate the building. It cannot be entered and plays no role in the storyline. All right, it is at night, and I guess we see lights like the all those like circle uh, looking shapes up there. Six at the top, six at the bottom. Very nice, very fancy. Looks like you can go around this building. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we can see there's a uh, knife pickup right back there. Okay, so here's the other side of that thing that seemed to have no reason to be here. Just uh, just a tree in between. Okay, let's come on back around to the front and continue our tour. Beach Patrol Headquarters. That sounds like a uh, like a lifeguard type thing. From the wiki, Beach Patrol Headquarters is a lifeguard headquarters in Ocean Beach Vice City. The building is not interactive, uh, and it says that this is uh, this building is based on the real life Beach Patrol Headquarters, which is located in real life South Beach, Miami. And I just clicked on the link um, to the uh, real life. Uh, Beach Patrol Headquarters, the real-life one in South Beach, and yeah, this building here in Vice City looks very much like the, the real building. Um, it's got the uh, the name, uh, it looks like about the right font and about the right size, and it's black, and it's kind of in the same curves that we see here on the Vice City building, and those uh, kind of six portal-looking windows on the front of the building, uh, they're exactly the same. There's a few more. It looks like there's eight of them on the real-life building. Uh, the door looks quite similar to me as well. Okay, uh, let's uh, just uh, run around this building real quick. We'll see it from all the different sides. Every nook and cranny, like I said. Okay, that building is checked off our list. Let's head right on over here to Parsons. Look how nice this is, all lit up in orange. Okay, reading from the wiki, Parsons Hotel is uh, a hotel in Vice City. It has a tiny pool on its roof. The hotel is based on the Pelican Hotel in Miami. 
And I'm looking at the Pelican Hotel's uh, official website right now. And uh, yeah, it looks a whole lot like the Parsons Hotel. Uh, the, uh, the, the layout with the different floors here and the kind of awnings coming out are the same. The, the sort of triangular pyramid, not pyramid, but like prism shaped uh, lights are identical. Um, the Pelican Hotel is green, at least in this picture. And I, I don't know if it's just the lights here, uh, but the Parsons looks orange to me. Maybe it looks green during the day, not sure. Okay, so I am interested in showing off the uh, the pool at the top of uh, the hotel here, but I'm going to do all the rooftops later. Uh, so I'll show you at the end of this video. I guess I'll grab a helicopter and take a look at some of the interesting rooftops. We'll just take a quick run around the uh, Parsons building. Yeah, it looks orange here as opposed to the green uh, from the, uh, the real life Pelican. Okay, Parsons Hotel, quite nice. I approve. All right, so this part here is uh, fenced in. Let's say we got a little grassy area. What is this building to my left? Oh, blue. The uh, Colon ho Hotel. That is all kinds of blurry. Wow, Rockstar. Okay, from the wiki, uh, the Colon Hotel has uh, several uh, versions, several uh, copies of it on Ocean Drive. The uh, hotel is otherwise unremarkable and is inaccessible to the player. It is based on the real-life Colony Hotel in Miami Beach, albeit with a stretched facade and the signage omitting the original name's uh, Y that results in its present name. I see. So the Colony Hotel, the real-life hotel, just has a Y at the bottom of this word colon. So all they did was omit the, uh, the Y and made it the Colon Hotel, uh, which uh, is a play on uh, the final part of the human digestive system. The wiki also says that the Dakota Hotel, which is a Vice City Hotel, is just a recolorization, like a copy of the Colon Hotel, but uh, colored differently. And I'm looking at the uh, the official, the actual Colony Hotel, and <laughs> it's just a copy. I don't understand how Rockstar's lawyers allowed Rockstar to just, like, copy real-life buildings. It's crazy to me. Yep, so the Colony Hotel, exactly the same uh, name, like the facade here looks exactly the same. Uh, and then the building looks quite similar too. Fair enough. Yeah, it talks about like uh, the uh, like the neon accents in the actual Colony Hotel, similar to the neon, you know, kind of blue uh, wavy thing at the very top of this hotel. Okay, let's run around. Let's see here. So the back of the Colony Hotel. Not too much to talk about. A couple of air conditioning units there. I I don't even know why I tried to jump in there. There was no no chance, no hope of making that. Okay, what building did we just uh, go past here? An unnamed building. I don't know. Is this a? Uh, is this another hotel? It seems to be like a hotel drive. Really funny to me to see the. Uh, you know, like right here above my head is a number. It looks like nine hundred maybe. Um, and then over here, uh, the same number but like reversed, like mirror image, like they just copied and pasted and reversed. Uh, same thing here with like the, like this white sign and then this uh, kind of you know brownish thing with the the little white square that Tommy's head is partially covering here. Just uh, copied and pasted, but in reverse here. Maybe the whole building. I guess the whole building maybe is just they made half a building and then copied and pasted it, um, which normally is fine, like in terms of symmetry, but uh, but it does look kind of funny in uh, some places. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, so I don't know what to say about this thing. I, I don't know how I would even look up to find out if it has a name. Okay, uh, another nice looking building here. Could be another hotel or any of these apartment buildings. I don't know. It seems like it's Hotel Row here on Ocean Drive. Okay, a couple of nice benches in the front. We'll run around this uh, next nameless hotel here. And continue heading north on Ocean Drive. All right, uh, this is the Lawrence. From the wiki, the Lawrence Hotel, also known simply as the Lawrence, is a hotel in Vice City. Uh, the Lawrence bears a striking resemblance to the real-life McAlpin Hotel in Miami Beach down to the facade design and rooftop canopy. The hotel is un otherwise unremarkable and is inaccessible to the player. All right, so quite similar to the McAlpin Hotel, which I am now looking at. And uh, yep, <laughs> looks like a carbon copy. Uh, the uh, the sort of pink vertical things here in the middle of this building are turquoise blue in the real the real building, but otherwise it looks identical. Like the those two red circles near the top of the building are, are the same in the actual McAlpin building, the facade here, it says Lawrence, but in the real one, it says uh, McAlpin. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. And then I talked about a canopy at the top. Oh, yeah, it looks like there's uh, like kind of like an open air space uh, all the way up there at the at the top, like uh, like in here. 
uh, and it looks exactly the same in the uh, the real life McAlpin building. Okay, uh, we can run around the uh, Lawrence slash McAlpin here. Looks like a covered awning. Is this for parking? Maybe, maybe another one of these uh, copies of this uh, area between two two gates, two fences. Okay, let's keep on uh, looking here. I'm trying to get my bearings here. All right, that, that's our safe house there. Okay, so that is uh, the end of the Lawrence, and then we can move on to the Deacon Hotel. So many hotels. I hope there are competitive rates for the tourists. Okay, uh, from the wiki, uh, the Deacon Hotel is a hotel in Vice City. It is a thinly disguised replication of the real-life Beacon Hotel. So that's Beacon with a B like uh, Bravo, and this is Deacon Hotel with a D like Delta. Yeah, Deacon Hotel, a copy of the Beacon Hotel. Unlike its real-life counterpart, the Deacon Hotel's facade color is more vibrant in comparison with the Beacon Hotel's present white color, lending to the idea that the real-life hotel originally assumed a more colorful facade when research pictures were taken by GTA Vice City developers before the real-life hotel was repainted in white. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, official website of the Beacon Hotel. Yep, <laughs> I see the similarities. Holy cow. It's the same. It's the same, everybody. All right. Uh, what's with all these T's here? Like, I don't know, like at the, is that an I? It looks like a T to me. Like um, this, this thing right here. What is that? There's a bunch of them. Uh, I don't actually see that on the real life Beacon Hotel. Okay, let's uh, run around the Deacon Beacon Hotel. All right, we already, actually, I think we already did run around it. Yeah. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this first block. So now I have to choose. Do I want to uh, head uh, west here and, and backtrack and cover the rest of that block? Or do I want to continue on Ocean Drive? And I want to continue on Ocean Drive. So let's keep going here to the Ocean View Hotel, which is uh, very special to us because that is our safe house in the beginning of the game, our only safe house until we can afford to buy some other stuff and then unlock uh, the other islands. Right, uh, so it's got a fish fixed uh, oceanic right here, always this uh, yellow and white color. Cool, cool. Uh, a couple of nice benches for folks to rest in front of our uh, our home. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Okay, let's read from the wiki about the Ocean View Hotel. Uh, it's a hotel that appears in Vice City and Vice City Stories. It is prominently featured in this game as the player's first safe house in the game. It's available from the beginning of the game. It is green, white, and yellow art deco facing the eastern beachfront on Ocean Beach. The hotel boasts an interior that includes a detailed lobby, including the stairway and hallway leading upstairs to Tommy Versetti's suite. The lobby is styled in a dark art deco design, while the suite itself is quintessentially 1980s in design, with artsy furnishing and light colors. The hotel serves as the first safe house for Tommy. Uh, Tommy is assumed to reside in the suite. The save point, save point is actually located at the reception desk in the hotel lobby. Tommy can change into his default street clothing using a clothing icon inside the suite. So let's go ahead and run around the building before we go inside. So it's really, really massive. And you can see it's bordered here on the back by this uh, alley that runs uh, pretty far north-south. And there's the bat pickup we saw in the uh, first odds and ends video. One air conditioner for the entire building. That doesn't seem sufficient. Hello, officer. Okay, so we're going to head inside, but first I'm going to switch to an early game save file where I have collected the 100 packages, but I haven't done any missions besides the opening uh, game cutscene missions. Okay, so here we are with an early game save file where I haven't done any other story missions besides the um, cutscene missions. Uh, and reading one little uh, thing here from the wiki, it says the design of this hotel, the Ocean View Hotel, is partially influenced by the Clevelander Hotel in Miami. The in-game description uh, simply widens the facade of the hotel, making the hotel here appear larger than the one in real life. So I did look at the official one in real life, and uh, yeah, here where we have like five columns, five columns of windows, there's only three in the real life hotel. But other than that, it looks very similar to the uh, Clevelander Hotel. Okay, so let's take a look inside. And uh, the uh, wiki mentioned the Art Deco style, so I see that right here uh, on the uh, this painting on the wall. There's our uh, save point. That looks like the uh, kind of sign in uh, for the hotel. I guess uh, you know, kind of like sign in, sign their name here uh, when they check in. And uh, what is this? Like a wall to 
I don't know, maybe that's like the main office or something. I cannot read any, can't come close to reading that. Okay, I guess this is where the keys would go, right up there. And I don't see anything behind the counter here. Let's keep on trucking. All right, uh, so we've got a couple of fans there working in tandem. That's cool. You got these uh, colorful lights right on top of the uh, little bush area here. Tables, uh, this is maybe like a bar. Looks like a, um, I don't know. Or is it just a lounge for people to hang out in the hotel? No, I see like uh, forks and, and utensils and stuff. So it's a full-fledged restaurant here. Another painting there looks uh, quite similar to the one across the way. And uh, yeah, uh, maybe another office here with another unreadable sign. Okay, so let's head on up. I don't know what these are. Maybe this is like for the kitchen, uh, the place where they cook the food for the restaurant here. Okay, very dark. Seems hazardous, actually. Uh, so in the beginning of the game, there's nothing here where this armor is. This is your reward for grabbing the first 10 packages. And then you can see lots of other uh, rewards here that we've already gotten, because in this save file, I've collected all 100 packages. Okay, uh, looks like uh, a view out to the, uh, the beach from this window. Cool. You can see the uh, kind of on the glass there is those uh, vertical columns. I guess that looks like the front of the building itself. No window over on that side. And we'll head into the suite, where again, we've got more uh, weapons just because we've collected all 100 hidden packages. And uh, we've got this nice little, um, like, there's a bunch of bottles of wine right there, and three very uh, Art Deco type, um, or it said like 80s, typical 80s type stuff. So look at those fancy chairs that look painfully uncomfortable to lean back in. Got a uh, rather bland red rug here. Uh, what's this painting on the wall? I can't read it. Why is it so blurry, Rockstar? All right, so that looks like a rat-a-tat-tat, like a machine gun sound. Don't know what else I'm looking at here. Is that the earth? I don't know. I don't know. Very blurry. Okay, a few more chairs. Uh, this is like almost a terrarium in here. Is that sand? Like, a, is that the lighthouse? That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, looks like the, the like this is the lighthouse, or maybe it's just a, a no, that looks like the lighthouse. And I don't know what this is supposed to be with the gap in the middle. And then, I don't know, a treasure chest. Very nice. I've never noticed any of these details. Okay, we've got uh, a bed. Oh, this is Tommy's bedroom. What am I talking about? Yeah, all right. So Tommy's got like, I don't know, a double bed or a queen bed or something. A full-size bed or a queen bed. Uh, and then here, Vice City, Le... What does that say? Le Havre at Southampton? That's uh, French. I don't know what it means, though. And I can't tell what I'm looking at here. What is this main structure? All right, uh, so we've got the dresser for Tommy's clothes. Oh, I can't walk again. Okay, and then there's uh, Tommy's suitcase right there. Some nice flowers, uh, like a bureau for the hanging clothes. There's a TV, quite old. And then uh, windows facing the beach. Tommy has done well for himself in this first safe house. A nice little uh, couch with, uh, I don't know, like some kind of a, like a leopard print, whatever. And then uh, here on the table, what do we have? Uh, crime. Oh, that's uh, Ricardo Diaz right there on the on the crime, which is a parody of Time magazine. Uh, Earth. I don't know what that's supposed to be. 1986 sees best ever graphics. Look how awesome those graphics are. Okay, and then this other one, New Discoverer. Is that like the New Yorker? And then what is that one up there? Oh, that's uh, Lance Vance. Look at all this fancy stuff here, gang. Yeah, I can't tell what else it is. Is that is that just two copies of Lance, or is that his brother? I can't. I can't tell. Looks like two copies of Lance. Okay, cool, cool. All right, so that is uh, the um, the hotel here at the beginning of the game. But now let me reload the save file from where I've completed all the story missions. Okay, so we're back with my late game save file, all the story missions complete. And uh, let's just see if we can't find any changes because the wiki says there's a number of changes that happen based on completing certain missions. Uh, I didn't mention this. I didn't notice this uh, menu out here. Uh, but uh, I guess that goes for the uh, very small restaurant right inside the lobby. Excellent. I wonder what kind of food they serve. Okay, so uh, taking a look around, a quicker look this time, uh, just looking for uh, differences, changes, uh, compared to how things looked before. So I don't see any differences here. So let's head on upstairs. Now, we're not going to see the armor and all the weapons because, again, I haven't... Um, haven't collected any packages uh, in this save file. So I think the changes will all be in Tommy's uh, bedroom there. Uh, also, I should mention, like, I guess these are like other hotel rooms uh, for other uh, guests in the hotel. 
Um, but also the wiki mentioned, uh, and I pointed out in the very first video in the series, that the uh, opening cutscene featuring Sonny Ferrelli and a couple of the guys uh, down or up in uh, Liberty City talking about Tommy just getting out of jail is uh, apparently based, is located uh, somewhere uh, in this hotel. You can't actually get to it, but like if we could knock down these walls, I guess we would see that, um, you know, opening cutscene location. Okay, so uh, let's take a look here. Uh, the first change we see are these three barrels of boomshine. So let me read from the wiki. It says, upon completion of Phil's mission, boomshine Saigon, three barrels of boomshine will appear in a corner of the room behind the bar. Excellent. And then what is going on here, gang? Right on top of this uh, this little table, there was, there was nothing before. And it's really hard to sort of see what it is, but... Um, that is a broken down hidden package with some uh, suspicious white stuff that has fallen out of it. Let's read from the wiki. Um, upon completion of rub out that mission, a broken hidden package will appear on the bar counter, revealing the package contains an unknown white powder, possibly cocaine. Possibly. Uh, I prefer to think of it as like marshmallow fluff. Okay, continuing on, uh, were, the, uh, were the shades like this before? I didn't notice if they were sort of partially down, partially up. Maybe they were. Okay, on top of the TV. What the heck is this thing? This was not here before. Shooter of the month. What is with this creepy... Oh, this is the cutout from uh, the uh, the shooting... Uh, I don't know what it's called. Like the shooting gallery over um, near the ammunition in the northern part of the other island. Okay, reading from the wiki. Upon completion of the shootist, a trophy will appear on top of the television. Indeed, it has. Okay, this uh, was not here before, this, like, uh, you know, sort of hanging suit um, uh, holder. And we'll keep on reading. Upon completion of the party, a suit bag is hung in front of the dresser. Cool, cool. Okay, I don't see anything new here, but on the bed, we've got boatloads of money. Nice job, Tommy. Look at that whole bag and then just stacks of cash. What uh, denomination are these bills? I can't read. Maybe hundreds? Okay, let's take a look at the wiki. So the wiki says, upon completion of uh, Hit the Courier, a bag full of money appears on the bed. Awesome. Uh, after you finish the party, which is basically the first real mission after the cutscenes, uh, the street outfit icon shows up here. It wasn't here in my early games, game save file because I hadn't completed even the party. Okay, uh, so uh, the middle poster was here before, but these uh, two surrounding posters were not. Uh, so Closer Encounters, that looks like a parody of Close Encounters of the third kind. Uh, let's see here. Uh, featuring Candy Sucks. You got her logo right there. You got her right there. Probably she dropped a contact lens, that's why she's in that position. And then over here, another Candy Sucks uh, feature, uh, Bite. This looks like a parody of Jaws. Again, you got that same logo here as here. Uh, and what does that say? Starring Candy Sucks. Excellent. And there's a... Uh, that looks like a dolphin. Is that a shark? Like, look at look at the point in the front. Looks like a bottlenose dolphin. Uh, all right, cool. So let's uh, take a look at the wiki. Upon completion of G Spotlight, two posters for Candy Sucks movies will appear on both sides of the Claude poster, and several of the pictures taken from Martha's mugshot will appear. Okay, so uh, the game says, uh, sorry, the wiki says that this is a picture of Claude from um, GTA 3. I, I don't know how they can possibly tell. I mean, it could be. It's got like the right color hair. I, is that like the leather jacket that Claude wore? I don't know what's with these pants. I don't recognize those. But anyway, that's supposed to be Claude um, from uh from gta3 okay taking a look at uh this table here we do have one change the addition of this hockey mask which is featured in the mission the job look at all these cool little details i never noticed upon completion of the job a hockey mask will appear on the coffee table awesome okay so the thing i previously read about the candy sucks uh posters there on the wall it says that uh, let me read it again so it says, upon completion of G-Spotlight, two posters for Candy Sucks's movies will appear, and several of the pictures taken from Martha's mugshot will appear. So where are they? Because I didn't notice them. Several pictures from Martha's mugshot. So uh, in that mission, we have to take photographs of, um, I don't know, like Candy and uh, somebody, uh, Alex Shrub, I think his name is, um, like at the top of a hotel, like in a pool. But uh, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I'm about ready to give up on, on this hunt. I don't know where those pictures might be. I don't see anything. 
that looks promising or out of place from the first time we were in this room. Okay, so we'll just head uh, back downstairs real quick, uh, but I think uh, that's about it for our tour of this uh, safe house. And yeah, it's super cool to see all these details. Um, you know, I've got, I don't know, 750 hours or so in this game and uh, never noticed any of those things. So really, really nice, uh, nice details, I think. All right, I was just looking around here to see if maybe the uh, Martha's Mugshot pictures were, were down here, but I don't see them. I don't see them. So if you know anything about where those Martha's Mugshot photos are supposed to be, or you saw them and I just missed them, uh, let, uh, let us know in the comments. So I'm going to end this walking tour video right here. I'm going to try to keep these walking tour videos to about 30 minutes in length. Uh, we did not come close to covering all of Ocean Beach. I wasn't expecting to. Uh, the neighborhoods in this game are quite a bit larger than the neighborhoods in GTA 3. And in my GTA 3 True 100% Plus series, I did a similar walking tour series. But um, yeah, but these neighborhoods are massive, massive, massive. So we will pick up right here in uh, the next walking tour video. Thank you so much for walking. We'll see you real soon.